Hello and welcome to this episode of Microchips. In this episode we are revisiting the Harrier WT2 that we saw in episode 20 where I modified the antenna to a BNC connection. Now somebody asked me is the antenna actually matched and maybe we could um, get a piece of test equipment to find out, find this out. So I did, and here's the video. So this is the antenna I was using, which I got off eBay, which was supposed to be 27 megahertz. So what I did is I purchased a field strength meter. Now, who knows if this works, but we're certainly going to find out. So it's very basic, it's just got a sensitivity on the front and an antenna and a meter. So let's have a look inside. And a capacitor across the meter to make it a little bit slower. And to be expected, a couple of diodes and a small capacitor. It does look like they've repurposed this board for this. But this was only a few pounds so as long as it works everything will be fine there's a close-up of that board as you can see just a couple of diodes and a capacitor going off to the meter via a potentiometer that will give us our sensitivity or should we say move the needle down when it gets overloaded so here's the insides of the Harrier WT2. Let's try this meter and see what happens. So I'll place it close to the antenna. It will transmit and the needle does move. And it does show that it's radiating more at the tip than at the base. So I presume that's okay. But what we're going to do is we're going to use this meter to tune the output stage because on this handheld there's three tunable coils after the final output I presume to match the antenna and because we're not using the telescopic antenna we're going to see if this works So I've got a non-inductive trimming tool. We're just going to start working the inductors. As you can see, it is making a difference. So we'll keep on working these inductors in sequence. It does seem to be doing something. I'll try the one right at the very end, which is actually connected directly to the internal antenna. Just had to use a heftier driver just to free it off a little bit because it was very stiff. And then we'll try again with the non inductive tool. And that one doesn't seem to make too much of a difference. Not like the other three that made a considerably bigger difference. So we'll just see if we can peak these up again. So I've switched over to channel 20. Just see if that's made any difference. It 
everything seems to be everything seems to be okay so I think that's that done so we'll just go up and down the antenna again and as you can see on the top section of the antenna it seems to radiate more than the bottom section there must be a center load in the middle of that but yeah i think the cheap field strength meter works okay And there we have it. I think that's the Harrier WT2 matched to this antenna now. Anyway, thanks for watching this short video and we'll see you again.